Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the new week. Hope you all had great weekends. I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin for our charts. So Bitcoin on the four hour, we are back testing this uh, this old resistance, this new support. Um, obviously, we wicked up to some new highs, grabbed a little liquidity, li grabbed a little bit of liquidity up there. Uh, are now coming back down to test the support. So it is quite simple. We need to hold this support level, um, or potentially um, that this can be a this could be a double top, and then we'll come back down lower. Maybe we get maybe we put in a a uh, a higher low above this support area, which would, wouldn't look too bad. It will be a nice higher low relative to this low, and obviously this low or failing that area uh, area of support as you can see we, we barely did put in a, a higher high here uh, we could be looking at then coming back down towards the 20k uh, and just falling back into the sideways range uh, of which we would like to hope we hold and don't fall below below the 20k uh, this 20 20k basically uh, support level so yeah all to play for first things first let's get supported here if not get supported here if not, then things won't be looking so good. We do know we are getting driven by macro. Uh, so if you want to look at our favorite indication of macro, that is the S&P, which has gone absolutely nuts here. Uh, just what a, 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 an insane week. But at the end of the day, uh, we did break above the important level and out of our range. Therefore, everybody that sort of traded in this sideways range, this quite wide sideways range, uh, and obviously the bears in particular, uh, had to stop out the positions. Uh, and uh, obviously that was a market buy and driving the market up. So uh, not too uh, not too wild that we saw such an aggressive move straight up because, because like I said, yeah, I mean, this is uh, obviously breaking at this important level the thing is we are now at and at probably uh for the overall macro uh a more important level than this one this was obviously important in this uh in this uh, range that we're in um but yeah this is a pretty uh big important level so if you actually want to expand out to the daily um you can kind of see uh the importance of this level that is very important level uh so do we just continue upwards right now in a straight line all the way and break above it uh, and then start coming towards our next level of uh, nearly 43 and 4300 or are we going to have uh, a a pullback of sorts does it even come back and back test this low uh, and then we actually trade sideways within a new uh, a new range a high higher range up here um yeah or do or do we find support somewhere near the midpoint and then bounce from there um all i am saying is that uh you it is quite likely you would expect some sort of a uh, pullback or at least consolidation even if we put in a bull flag uh for a few days at this high if we are still going to remain uh on an upward trajectory but um yeah as you can see it's pretty aggressive move at a pretty important level of resistance can it just break through of of course it can um, but there is obviously uh, uh, an increased likelihood of uh, of of not being able to break through on this first test. Maybe sideways. Maybe we come back down. How far do we come back down? We'll have to see. As long as we're above this support, though, um, it is it is good. It is looking good. Uh, so yeah, let's look at some other uh, macro uh, indicators that we like to look at. Uh, nice continuation move down in, in the DXY. We obviously lost this. Uh, horizontal um, we are at another important level now after this I mean we enter this uh, this area of uh, of recent price action above this support so we could very easily uh, fall down and trade and trade in here for a bit before uh, well either breaking back above and continuing up or breaking below uh, and then uh, well then realistically we have targets around uh, around towards 100 uh, that would be extremely bullish for risk assets um, we shall have to see what happens. I mean, you can quite clearly see uh, we have a, a nice trend line coming up here that we are not a million miles away from breaking down. So if we do break down from there, uh, yeah, I mean, we could see uh, we could see acceleration of this to the downside, and that would certainly get a uh, get a uh, crypto and risk assets going. The ten year also. Uh, still at well yeah i mean it's obviously broken below this uh level but this sort of area uh we're not fully below yet but this is uh this is looking like it is breaking down which is uh which is kind of good uh for the kind of assets that we like to uh we like to play with 
so yeah, that could that could uh, easily get us down towards uh, towards two percent level. So if that does happen, probably not looking not looking too bad overall. Although what that is an indication is an indication of um, of we've got bad times coming, so the Fed's going to have to pivot and reverse earlier than what people thought. But uh, like I said, that pivoting earlier, so maybe we would see more down some downside in markets before then the Fed then quickly has to pivot. Um, so yeah, it's not all it's not all complete plain sailing based on this. However, um, however, overall uh, for risk assets with uh, the cessation of the uh, of the liquidity tightening, um, that would uh, that is obviously what we're looking for to uh, continue continue the uh, the up only uh, uh, crack up boom. Uh, gold, um, yeah, good closers uh, blasted through this uh, resistance area. Does it consolidate a bit here before? for moving up if it's going to move up probably um can it just continue straight up it can um but yeah i mean obviously it's hit an important level uh and uh <clears throat> and it has been a pretty aggressive move and we are still in a downtrend so there will be a uh, downward pressure on this uh another interesting chart i've not looked at in a while bitcoin dominance uh at, at basically uh important support level uh as you can see uh trying its best to hold it at the moment no doubt ethereum uh with its uh with its move v v b t c uh which is obviously the biggest part of the alt uh the alt market uh is has been helping this down uh, and then other alts are starting to uh well catch a bit of a, a bid against uh bitcoin as well so yeah if we lose this uh then yeah down into here and this is obviously where we end up uh, end up with um uh very well very crazy alt move movements if we break down below here and start to get down towards this level um what else do we want to look at on here uh yeah let's have a quick glance at oil uh oil is still kind of um hovering around hovering around these not lows but the lower lower side of this sort of range i mean we've got a high a low a lower high a, a similar low are we printing a sort of a descending triangle uh, are we still going to bounce around here for it maybe even get back up towards this resistance again uh, we could do um however if uh, if the 10 year keeps dropping um it will uh, it is kind of indicating um a slower slower basically a slower economy so uh, that is going to impact uh, impact oil so um yeah we could we could break down here end up just back into this range uh, and then that would clearly be good for inflation and then again similarly good uh, for the 10 year uh, so is it is it which which one is leading which which came first the chicken or the egg but they're kind of like a, they're kind of obviously interrelated there um what else we want to look at on here oh yeah let's look at the btc uh looking very good here uh obviously uh this resistance area here uh potential ascending uh, ascending wedge so maybe we do get a pullback but um but yeah i mean overall very constructive i mean this once we get through here uh it is gonna be uh it's gonna maybe get pretty aggressive the move especially if bitcoin is uh taking that move up towards uh 26 26 000 toward maybe even towards 30 000. the uae usd pairing um not looking too bad again below this important resistance area get above here uh it could start to uh it could start to get a bit a bit wet and wild up in uh, up in ethereum land um so yeah let's look at stochastics now let's see how they are looking for bitcoin because we are an important we are important uh, level here so four hour is still coming down but has run down pretty far uh so um obviously could um uh could at some point soon turn back up and then that could give us uh, the end of this uh, short term move down but at the moment though uh, still got some downward pressure eight hour got a long way to run down though 10 hour a long way to run down 12 hour freshly turned over here Daily not looking so bad, but all these other ones are kind of uh, they are we, they are going to um, put pressure on us on that support area. So uh, it is possible that uh, we don't hold this, and this is going to be the uh, ab above this support it will be the next uh, higher low. Uh, just based on just based on this reading, daily is not looking bad though. But obviously, if we break this and come back down, daily daily will turn down. Uh, the buy daily, yeah, buy daily has a uh, has a uh, cross down as well uh, at the moment. Uh, and then three day looking looking great five day great weekly looking good as well so these higher time frames we've got a new monthly as well actually by we turned up a new monthly see how that's looking yeah i mean still coming down uh but losing its downward momentum so yeah we got we got this one to to pull for at some point in the future but 
Um, yeah, I mean, like like I said, um, we are we have a pretty aggressive moves in these markets so far, particularly the stock market. So, um, is it that we can't we we do struggle to hold this support uh, and we come down and test towards this one uh, poss possibly? Um, the other thing is that uh, is that crypto is uh, underperforming relative to this recent move in stocks. So even if uh, stocks don't break above here and consolidate or move down, maybe uh, crypto can, maybe Bitcoin can still hold this support level uh, just on a relative basis. It's not had that massive acceleration to the upside. Uh, so yeah, maybe it's still, maybe there is still uh, a chance of holding this. But yeah, we have to see how it goes. Um, it is early in the week. This is the point where you could potentially get pullbacks, and then uh, later on, we start to uh, in the week, people start to settle into the acclimatize these higher prices, and then start to get more comfortable. But yeah, on, on the face of it, people are probably going to be looking at this as a good area uh, to take some risk off. Some people are going to be looking at it as a good area just to go out right short. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens, and then uh, and then if we blast through, uh, then yeah, I mean realistically, this is the next level. It that is that will be a pretty wild move. Um, um, I mean it's the move that I want to see. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just how likely is it? But yeah, if we blast up to here and then we consolidate above this uh, the this important level of support, that would start to look really good. Uh, it would start to look really good uh, for uh, for yeah just uh, just a, a resumption a resumption of the of the most hated bull market that uh, every single finance professional uh, and uh, and amateur and everybody is just uh, it's just not uh, not expecting to see uh, so yeah there we go guys remember this is not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon.